Welcome to the next part of creating a Flappy Bird-like game in Unity. So, we left off making pipes and the ground, and it looks pretty good so far. We have the pipes moving, and they go to random heights, and so on and so forth. Um, the random height is between a range of 2 and negative 2, and it just adds on to the Y. So we can go up 2, or we can go down 2, and anywhere in between. Now... I was kind of looking at the game, and I realized that it looks a little bit too zoomed in. So I'm going to make a quick change to it, and to do that, I'm just going to raise this up to about there. Um, and I'm going to raise the floor and lower the floor as well. And now it's going to look a lot better, in my opinion. Yeah, that's, that's a lot better. It was way too zoomed in before. This is a lot more enjoyable. And we still have the same effect where the pipes go through and they go to the finish. Except now we can have a wider range. So, rather than going between um, 0 to 2, we can now go up to um, about 4.5, which is a lot better. So, gives us more variety of our pipes, and it just it's going to look a lot better too. So, port 4.5 to 4.5 in our range there. And now when we play the game, we have... We have to make them floats, my bad. Put a little F after them. Okay, so now when we play the game, um, our pipes can go all the way up or all the way down. It looks pretty sweet now. So if we had a bunch of pipes back to back, um, and they're coming in, <clears throat> they're all different heights. Of course, they'd be a lot more further apart than that. But you get the point. So now we can actually work on making the pipe spawner. And the pipe spawner is very simply going to be an object centered out at 0, 0, but then moved over to wherever you want the pipes to start spawning. And we're going to spawn them in right here, called pipe spawner. We're going to open up that script now. So now in our start, we're going to make a function called spawn pipe. And we're going to call um, invoke repeating. And we're going to call um, the method spawn pipe every um, maybe two seconds or one second. That's an adjustable time you're going to want to look at. It's basically the spacing for the pipes. And now we're going to instantiate our um, pipe, which we don't actually have on here yet. So we're going to do public game object, capital game object um, called pipe. Now we're going to want to instantiate our pipe at the origin of the object with no rotation or the rotation of the pipe prefab. And that works very simply. The way our game is set up, this will perfectly um, bottom pipes. All we have to do is go to our prefabs and then apply our pipe. We can even delete it now. We don't need it anymore. And we can just go to our game object down here, call it our pipe spawner, save the scene, and we can just drag our pipe onto our pipe spawner now. So now when we play the scene, every second we get a new pipe, which is very close together. You might want to adjust that and maybe make it three seconds. And then we can also make the initial spawn be zero, so right when you get into the game, the pipe starts coming to eliminate that delay. So right off the bat, there's a pipe coming down. And that's a decent distance, actually, between each pipe. So our bird or person or whatever we do can now jump through these pipes and accumulate score. However you want to do that. So, <clears throat> we have our pipe spawner. I don't know why it didn't keep its name. It must have entered. Let's drag our pipe spawner and kill zone into our um, prefabs here and save. Now we can work on our actual bird guy. So let's zero it out um, perfectly. And now we can zoom in, take our sprites, drag a circle onto there maybe, and zero out that circle and get to work. I'm going to call it um, a flappy, I don't know. Fly, flappy fly, <laughs> I guess. And our fly is going to be like a nice bright color. We want to make sure that our fly can easily clear these pipes too. That looks pretty good actually. And now we'll just take the circle 
give him like little wings or something. And we're going to put all this on a new layer. We're going to call it character. So select both of these, put them on that new character layer. Um, the backwards one is going to be zero. The f wing will be one. Second wing, which will be slightly darker actually, will be on layer negative one, so behind his body. There we go, we have our flappy fly. Also, he's kind of hard to see. I'm going to move him over to here. And we're just going to give him some little eyes now. Give him a good animated looking eye. Make it like a reddish color. And there we go. We have our flappy fly now. So that's what he looks like. We could start flying through our pipes. Um, this pipe doesn't need to be here anymore. So our flappy fly will be in the center of our screen at all times, basically. So we can actually go to our add component, physics 2D, give him a rigid body 2D, and we're going to make it freeze in the X position because he's never going to move to the X, and we're going to freeze his rotation. The gravity scale is whatever you want it to be, so however fast you want him to fall. Now we're going to add a new script and call it fly or whatever you want to call your character and your flapping person or bug or bird creature. So within our fly class, we can now call um, an if statement here. We're going to say if we input the key, so get key, um, we're actually going to get key down. So we have to press it each time and we're going to look for the key code space bar. So your space. Um, so if we put in the space bar, then we're going to call this function called jump. And jump will be right over here. Now, of course, to jump, we're going to need to get our rigid body. So we're going to call rigid body 2D RB. And we're defining that in our awake. Which that RB equals get component. Um, not render buffer, RB. Let's get component rigid body 2D. And there you go. So we get our rigid body 2D, we call it RB, and begin to work. So I guess in the next video, um, we'll make him jump. So I'll leave you a little cliffhanger there. But so far, so good. The reason I have to go is to take a call. So yeah, I'll be back. Check out the next video.